Well, here I am with Kirsty Lamont. Now, Kirsty, you're director of Mozo, okay? Now, Mozo sounds like a drink or something that you might have in a nightclub. I'll have a Mozo, please. But when I discovered about Mo what I discovered about Mozo was that you're a travel insurance comparison site, okay? Now, travel insurance, I think, is one of the most confusing elements of anyone's travel plans. It has to be. And by that, I mean getting a policy that suits your needs and a fair price. And, you know, getting it wrong is a pretty high risk. So when you're lying in a rather rudimentary hospital in a third world country with what might be rather dodgy diagnosis and some doctors that don't know what they're doing, it's probably not the best time to find out that your travel insurance doesn't cover you for your injuries from a bungee jump that seemed such a good idea at the time. So, Kirsty, where does Mozo fit into this complicated world of travel insurance and making sure travellers have the best policy for their needs? and the best value for money? Well, MOZO actually stands for Money Zone and we're in... Ah, got yes, it. where the name comes from. We're an independently owned comparison website and we help people compare and save money on things like travel insurance. So with MOZO, you can get travel insurance quotes from close to 20 different insurers to find the best value insurance policy for your needs and avoid paying too much. Brilliant, isn't it? So, in terms of the sort of companies you have on Mozo as well, because I mean, look, let's be quite frank about it. There are some bottom feeders in the industry, okay? And I've heard some horror stories. I mean, I, I do a lot of speaking on cruise ships, and I've heard some horror stories about uh, uh, travel insurance where people aren't covered for certain things, and they had to pay massive bills and claim it back, and you know, things weren't weren't easy. So, what about the quality of the companies you have? Are they some of the better known names? Look, you can compare everyone on Mozo from. Mm big brands like American Express, through to the smaller specialist insurers, people like Insure and Go, uh, mm -hmm. Southern Cross, who, you know, can offer coverage levels, you know, very, very close to the normal big brands and can work out to be much more cost effective. Mm. So in terms of if I was going now and thinking, okay, well, I'm going to go on a trip, I'm going to Europe, um, you know, are there, are there policies that I should get that are probably better for me for certain parts of the world? Or if I travel a lot, you know, should I get an all year policy or something like that? Well, certainly if you are a frequent traveller, it would probably make sense to take out an annual multi-trip policy. Yep. It will give you global cover um, for a long-term period and save you, keep, you know, keeping on having to take on travel insurance every time mm. you go. Uh, but in terms of uh, you know which insurers are best for different countries, it really comes down to uh, your personal details and which insurers are right for you. So I would always recommend that you do your homework online and compare at least three different travel insurers to get different quotes and make sure that you compare not just on price but obviously on features like overseas medical cover, luggage and personal effects cover, cancellation cover and uh, excess fees. Mm. And what about things like, you know, when I rent that um, scooter in Bali or something, um, am I going to be covered by, by my travel insurance if I do that? That's a really good question. And actually, you know, travel insurance uh, has one of the highest claims rejection rates of any type of insurance. And the reason for that is that many travellers just don't understand what they are and aren't covered for. Mm. So, you know, when it does come to, you know, riding that moped around Bali, which can seem like a great idea at the time, you know, some insurers will cover you um, as long as you meet certain conditions, like wearing a helmet, um, whereas others won't. So it always pays to read the product disclosure statement before you. Yeah. And what about things, what, what about things like um, if I'm going on a cruise, do all companies cover cruises or should I specify that I'm going on a cruise? You'll normally have to specify uh, that you need cruise cover. The other thing you know that you need to specify is things like winter sports cover. So those yeah. sorts of things aren't normally covered in a standard travel insurance policy. But if you specify that you need cover, you can get it. Yeah, and I think the other message is as well that um, you know tell the truth, tell them everything that you. Uh, that they need to know about you and it might cost you more for the policy particularly with things like pre-existing conditions but the bottom line is um, if you have something go wrong then you're likely to get the the claim rejected if you haven't told them everything that's right if you've got a pre-existing medical condition that you haven't flagged and then you run into travel overseas you can find that your claim can get rejected just because you haven't told them all the details and that can land you in some serious trouble. I mean, a hospital stay in a foreign country can vary from a few hundred dollars a day to, you know, $20,000 a day. Yeah. 
and, just and, the week yeah. that's worth taking. That's right, yeah. And I mean, I was just thinking then about the US. I mean, that's got to be the place that you've got to be really, really well covered because I know medical, having lived there, I know medical coverage in the States is is uh, very, very expensive. So I would imagine that some of the policies um, ask whether you're going to the USA or they're group, it's grouped in some of the countries. Is that right? Yes. Well, travel insurers will normally ask you where you're going and your uh, premium will uh, vary depending on, you know, the country that you're going to, the risk that's involved and the cost of the medical expenses if that does happen. Uh, so travel insurance for travel to the US is usually, you know, relatively more expensive than for other countries and that reflects the fact that if you do have to get hospitalised, it's going to be a pretty hefty bill. Mm, okay. And then, look, can you take me through now? So if I'm going to, I go to, what's the URL, Mozo? Uh, mozo.com.au. So I go to mozo.com.au. What do I do then? How does it work? Well, you go to our travel insurance section, and then all you need to do is fill out the one form on our site, and it's just quickly inputting your traveller details, your travel dates, and where you want to go. Uh, and then you press enter, and then we then go and gather quotes from close to 20 different travel insurers for you and instantly display those on the screen so that you can then compare the quotes and the premium you know, levels of cover. Uh, you can go through and filter uh, the policies by coverage type, depending on whether you want basic or comprehensive travel insurance, and you can then decide which one is the best fit for the trip that you're planning. Fantastic. I mean, there can really be some big price differences between the policies on offer. Yeah. But uh, some of the best value ones can provide the same level of coverage as those that can be hundreds of dollars more expensive. So it really is worth shopping around. And is that is that because, um, you know, I know the commissions on selling travel insurance policies have been pretty high, but by selling direct, some of these companies must be able to give better deals, mustn't they? Yeah, that's right. I think there's two things going on. So travel, uh, in sh travel agents and airlines charge huge commissions up to, say, 53% in some cases on the travel insurance that they sell you. So it's never a great idea to get sucked into buying travel insurance as an add-on to your holiday or your flight. Uh, but the second thing is that we have now these days a range of specialist, low-cost, mainly online travel insurers who have low cost because they operate online and they specialise in travel insurance. So they offer really great quality uh, policies that provide, uh, you know, in many cases, the same level of cover that you'll get with a big brand for a reduced cost. So it's really worth having a look online and seeing what you can get. Brilliant. Well, give me the URL again. So www.mozo.com.au. Kirsty Lamont, thank you very much for your time today. I know we're going to be talking again soon about traveling with money and how to deal with that in the best way. So I look forward to that, but thank you for your time today. Thanks, John.